All right, so here's the video on the 05 F550, six liter power stroke. Two wheel drive, automatic. Um, only has 84,965 original miles on it. Um, now, obviously, it's a big, a big beast of a truck here. Single cab, big box in the back, utility bed. Um, this box is actually from like 98. It's an old box off a different truck. Pretty well rusted out, I mean. Yeah, you know, new doors would fix that, so we'll see how ambitious I get. Uh, running boards are gone or whatever, side steps are rusted off. This truck's a bit more rusty than the uh, the 08 is. Um, I'm really not sure if this is like a cone truck or something, but it's a construction vehicle for uh, some company. Um, it is pretty cool. It's a heavy-duty truck, 550. You know, doors kind of beat up a little bit here. But, wind is not going to cooperate, um, but it has a hose reel they gave me with it and the torch head, um, all this nice space in here to use for stuff, which, uh, pretty nice, I mean, you could put, a, I wanted to put an air compressor in this thing and a torch up for a nice service truck when I go and tow my trailer, I can uh, use this bad boy and have all the stuff, sorry for the noise all the stuff here I would need um, you know it's obviously missing some stuff yet uh, this box is not in that great of shape but I kind of want to keep this because you know if you have to get furniture from the store or something like that at least you can use the box to put the stuff in and it won't get wet um, interior is basically roached in this thing completely manual interior obviously uh, I have a bunch of parts in here off my other trucks too, but they had ripped the dash out of this thing completely. I don't know what they were doing to it. It was a crank no start when I got it. Um, put batteries in it right away. Did fuel filters, oil change. Did a map sensor on it. Um, that's your mileage right there. Original miles. Um, and it just cranks and cranks and cranks. Checked all my um, uh, data. And if I can get a... Um, splice in here of that data you'll see it but everything was in spec and could not for life me figure out what was wrong with it and so i kept searching and found out it was missing the barometric pressure sensor it was missing the map sensor um the trailer brake controller was missing out of here just a whole bunch of stuff was all missing out of here and went out and bought the stuff found the stuff when it was in the back of the truck put it all back together and uh Let's see if I get this up myself. Okay. Um, yeah, 6 old power stroke. I bought two new batteries for it. Well, not new, but like refurbed ones from Interstate. And uh, the fuel filters, I had checked. Yeah, this was a map sensor I replaced because it was just gone. Did the correct motorcraft fuel filter and the correct motor, or, uh, oil filter with the correct uh, uh, motorcraft oil filler cap. Same with the fuel filters. I did both of those. They were disgusting. Um, I changed out the uh, ICP sensor just because it was like 20 bucks easy to get at. And uh, then after that, um, went ahead here and I had to replace some sensors underneath the dash that were bad. Um, you know, did a, did a few things to it that were just basic maintenance because obviously not knowing the truck, I wanted to make sure that uh, everything out was good. And it would just crank and crank and crank and crank. And when it was ice cold, it would want to fire, but it wouldn't. When I plug it in, it made no attempt to fire. So I pulled all this stuff apart. You know, I tried a bit of starting fluid, didn't do anything. Um, I thought EGR might be stuck open, pulled it out, didn't do anything. Well, then all of a sudden, I'm like, since I got the truck, I've smelt diesel fuel and couldn't figure out why. And back in the um, in December, I had drained this tank out and moved it out of the way. And all of a sudden... I noticed it was covered in fluid. And uh, so I pulled off the old uh, Caparino here and realized it was full. That's all diesel fuel. Um, this thing has bad injector cups. And uh, they're bad to the point where if you turn the key on without trying to crank it, this fills with, uh, it starts bubbling over. Um, so my cups are destroyed or my heads are cracked. So, this will be a project come summer, just like that one. But my hope is to get a couple vehicles out of here quickly 
and then get on this and get this motor torn apart and get these cups either if the heads are cracked i'm going to use the accurate diesel cups that cover the crack up and if not i'll use the standard cups from ford um, it's not gonna be cheap it's gonna be very labor intensive but this motor i have heard it run for about two seconds and it does run um so my hope is to at least get this thing running and driving here shortly and then probably gonna just keep it i was gonna sell it but i'm thinking i'm just keeping it now because with the amount of time and money i've got into it it's a cool truck you know i've, I've grown to like these trucks i really have um i will say so i bought this for 1225 dollars at the auction this was 2520 or 2552 dollars at the auction um i had to spend about a thousand bucks towing them both home and then i had to spend you know the money for the registration on these things i had to spend the money for the uh auction fees so both of these trucks shipped to my door the cost was like roughly 60 yeah it's about six thousand bucks because i think it was five thousand for both the trucks and then it's like a thousand to ship them here so yeah about six thousand bucks for both the trucks um so obviously you figure three thousand a piece roughly um is what it is but you know for a 550 and a 450 dualies diesels you go buy one new new nowadays they're like a hundred thousand dollars so i'm okay with the price i don't care about that i can fix both of these and have two pretty decent trucks for not that much money and uh i'll be happy so thanks for watching um make sure you subscribe and you keep following me on these projects um i will try to get to these when I can, it's been, I've had them since December and uh, just haven't had the time to mess with them as much as I'd like to. But uh, I will try and put in a video and splice of the data I had on this um, and also a picture of them when I got these towed home. I'm probably not going to do as much work to this one as this one. This truck I really love. I really want to get this one done, but this one here. Um, I might just throw a new bench seat because these bench seats are both crappy. Um, but uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. And I uh, will talk to you guys later. And uh, make sure you're subscribed and uh, we'll see you.